Hello, this is Jenkins Platform SIG meeting September 9, 2022. Today we have Mark Waite, of course, and myself, Bruno Vrashen. Today, the, uh, the subjects are numerous. Uh, on the agenda, we have some open action items. We'll talk about the preview suffix from GDK 17 agent images. We'll talk also about the Docker image management for Jenkins agent. And also the Docker container deprecation for the Blue Ocean container. And we'll see some things about the request for specific tools in the Docker images. Yes, because yes, we moved curl a few weeks ago. Of course, we'll talk about uh, Java 11, Java 17 and DevOps world, which is in a few weeks from now. Mark, uh, it looks like there is an open action item on your side. <laughs> Yes, I've shared credentials for the the System 390 machine already. I haven't shared those yet. So I, that still stays as an open item, probably several weeks before I'll get to it. Of course. No hurry. No worry. <laughs> uh, now, for the preview suffix removal from GDK 17 agent images, we had open three uh, pull requests, which have been... No, pull request issues, sorry. And somebody uh, that came out of the blue uh, <laughs> made three pull requests that were merged. Uh, yes, a new contributor. Woohoo! That's something nice. Uh, thanks a lot, whoever you may be. <laughs> I forgot the name on the contributor, unfortunately. Anyway, thanks a lot. Now, uh, yeah, container repository management for Jenkins agent. Mark, could you tell us a few things about that? Yeah, so the the struggle here is that right now we have we have many we have multiple repositories, and with multiple multiple repositories that are managing multiple container images. So um, there is a re multiple repositories and multiple images from those repositories, and with the multiple contain multiple repositories, it's quite difficult to do a release process that is clean, simple, and comprehensible. So releases are, are unnecessarily complicated. Yes, I encountered that a few weeks or months ago when I tried to add uh, the ARM64 architecture for a few um, Docker images. And frankly, we missed some things. Uh, there were some versions missing and it made a mess. Yes, mm -hmm. I totally agree. It is too complicated. Right. Well, and 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 the stacking and the layering is is mm -hmm. is another piece. Now we probably cannot get rid of any of the layers or any of the any of the conceptual blocks because people depend upon them in some way or other. Mm -hmm. However, one of the proposals is from Damien Duportal is to uh, combine the repositories into a single repository that could then be mm -hmm. used to deliver to multiple destinations. However, we've got to do more, more designing and more planning work to, to accomplish it because what we cannot do is we cannot just drop um, support for the existing container images, right? They, mm -hmm. People expect them to continue. Simplifying the release process is not justification to drop or to rename <laughs> labels. We've got to be sure we retain compatibility. Of course. And that, that's really it. Um, then there's one more topic, which is this separate repository for Jenkins agents with tools installed. And that which one- Which is linked to, sorry, Mark, which is linked to a, a topic we'll address later on in this meeting. Oh, yes, yes, good point. So so that one, let's talk to it later then. It just, it is not, they are not actively maintained and many of the agents, uh, many, many of the container images are still using Java, Java 8. And that just won't work with the most recent LTS. So, so they have to be switched. Either, either they need to switch, need to be upgraded, or we acknowledge that they're ended. And I think people will want, they need to, let's just say it, there's not an either here, they need to be upgraded. We don't have any metrics about uh, the number of times these have been downloaded. Or are they used frequently or not? Ah, oh, actually, Docker Hub does provide download metrics. Um, and I'm sure that what we would see is some of them are heavily used and others are, are rarely used. Yes, uh, so that we have a list of priorities uh, if we have to update them. Mm, good idea, right. 
Okay, it's not very precise on the Docker Hub repo directly. You have to use the API, uh, I'm afraid, to have the real numbers. For example, I have one Docker image, which is more than 2.1 million downloaded. And on Docker, it just written 1 million. No, it's wrong. Oh, <laughs> Plenty oh wrong. Okay, all right. But if you use the API, you'll have the precise number. I see. Good. Well, that's very good. Whoops. My... That was my uh, shameless auto-promo moment. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Yeah, any questions on container repository management for Jenkins agents? No, I only agree that that's necessary to do something simpler. Yeah, so uh, I think it'll be a topic for discussion at um, at the Contributor Summit. Oh, nice. Because we'll have the right people present there for a good discussion. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so... Let's let's just plan on it. I don't know that we should put it on the agenda, but rather over the lunch table or just sitting mm -hmm. around, we can talk through because we'll have Damien there. We'll have Tim Jacome there. I'll be there. Bruno, you'll be there. We've got the right players to be part of that discussion. Super. Next topic is Docker container deprecation for the Blue Ocean container. We've seen lots of efforts from Kevin, for example, regarding the Blue Ocean, putting message just about everywhere saying, oh, you know, it deprecated, you maybe shouldn't count on it. Uh, but that's not the case yet for the Docker container. So yes, we have something to do regarding that container. Yeah, and, and this deprecation really, it, there's some software needed here, right? we can certainly change the text on the Docker Hub page. The challenge is most people don't read that page. Once they've got the container working, they, they will never look at it again. And if they did look at it, they may not recognize whatever change we make. So mm -hmm. then the question is, do we put it in an LTS change log? Do we add it to Jenkins.io pages? And then the bigger question do we do something like a Jenkins administrative monitor that said that pops up and says you are you gives you a warning in the top right hand corner mm -hmm. of the Jenkins controller and when they click it pops up a nice little dialogue that says you are running a container that is um, deprecated please make plan your switch to this other container. So is that a discussion for the documentation SIG and for the Jenkins government governance meeting? Actually, I think these are something that we can handle here the, the, okay. because it's all part of what I'd call the platform side. So for me, these are the, the biggest challenge is this one. It means someone has to write the administrative monitor. It's a little bit of Java code and then oh. test okay. it that it works end to end and that, and that the whatever file we're using to make the decision, shall we show it, is only in the Blue Ocean container and not in other containers, et cetera. Mm. Okay. So, so there's some there's some software work there. Uh, that that I think is the right way to do it for the healthiest experience for Jenkins users. Mm. Uh, these other places are certainly minimum necessary, and and we we want those as well. Cool. Now, Thank now you. the next step for me, I think, is really we just this is work that needs to be done, and we we report on it regularly in in platform sig meetings okay so we should um, give ourselves a task to have a look at that uh, java code so i'm okay to contribute to that even if i don't know where to start but <laughs> yes yeah, so, well so um and i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm ready to put an action item yet as much as knowing that let's keep let's discuss it and mm -hmm. begin the ideas of, hey, here are the kinds of things we think should be done. Maybe maybe the answer here is, and maybe this is a valid action item, is create an issue in the uh, Jenkins packaging repository or the Docker, see the challenges, which one? Maybe, well, hmm. create an issue that Somewhere. proposes this Yes, ex exactly. That proposes the deprecation and includes details of the steps to do it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, good idea. Yeah, because 
that now that's one the challenge then is the creating the issue really does mean defining the plan good all right Next subject now is the request for specific tools in the Docker images, because yes, we had some uh, tools uh, earlier in the versions. Uh, Go, for example, and you told me the other day that we previously all also had some other tools that were removed from uh, images. But yes, sometimes we have to do some cleanup and Go is not strictly necessary in our Docker images. So yes, it's gone. We feel sorry for the users who heavily depend on it. That's the way it is. From what I understood for more advanced Jenkins users is, yes, these images are there, but for you to augment them, to change them, to add the tool that you need, and you should not rely on them to do everything and to be bundled with all the tools that you need, you should just extend these images. Am I right, Mark? That, that's correct. And and it's it's a general case problem if we do, if if we get into the mode of oh we'll deliver the tools you need we now become responsible for the care and maintenance of those tools and delivering versions of those tools and making sure that when a security issue arises in those tools that we we resolve that security issue it's part of what makes it so challenging to have these images like were mentioned earlier with separate tools in them right well it's got we deliver a python image but it may not be the current most current python release or it may be the current python release and that's not what they want yeah so so the intent is we want users to extend from our base image now one of the concerns expressed by a, a voice in that in that thread was hey that's complicated and and the answer is yes it is container management is non-trivial but but the alternative is also non-trivial and the jenkins project just doesn't have enough people to maintain everybody's tooling images you're right and i'm sure there is already a tutorial somewhere telling us how to extend the base docker jenkins images and if not we definitely should write one, but I'm sure it already exists and it is well referenced. I could maybe add a reference to that if I find it in the thread uh, to help the users. And we should have a prepared answer for all the users who will face the same kind of issues. That's well, my belief. That's very good because the Jenkins infrastructure team uses exactly this technique, the, the extension technique. So we must have an example because they're doing it hmm. and they they host their image definitions publicly so so yes they certainly do exist I, I don't know that there's a tutorial that shows how to do it but i do know that it's there and and actually this is a candidate for somebody who could ask at devops world in the ask me anything sec session with damien du portal and hervé Le, or and hervé lemire that hey how are you managing your Docker images and why? Yes, and the answer is not, you don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. Good. Any other remarks uh, on that subject? That's it. That's all for me. Thank you. Next one is we require Java 11 on newer for Jenkins core. Yes, congratulations to everyone. 2.361.1 has released, uh, is available, mm -hmm. and there was there are see the change log, the upgrade guide. Uh, there was a blog post from CDF on it. There was also a live stream yesterday. So well, many no. resources available to help people. Great. That's it for Java 11 for me. Yeah, well, what about Java 17 then? So, and there it's ongoing. Uh, and there have been a, a few recent reports um, that are working through, but in general, working quite well, seems to be working quite well. The, the Jenkins infrastructure team uh, is planning to put one or more of their machines on JDK 11, on JDK 17. 17, yeah. 
Yeah. Great. And it is what it is, but it's still working for me on a daily basis. But I have nothing complicated, but I'm happy to work with Java 17 nonetheless. Yes. Cool. Uh, next subject is DevOps world uh, in Orlando. We will have a contributor summit presentation. I think it's on the Tuesday. Uh, yes, yes, it is. And some people from AWS will tell us about how to use EC2 instances of macOS to uh, be able to build easier, uh, more easily uh, iOS and macOS applications, I guess. It won't be a long presentation, but I'm sure they will be around the rest of the day so that we can discuss with them uh, in their booths, for example. Or I think that for um, the Contributor Summit, we also have next to that a booth, a Jenkins IO booth, and that we also have uh, a place where we can give some quick uh, talks and so on. So maybe they could also interact with our users there but anyway that's a good thing to have news about instances of macOS in ec2 because um, my experience is that it was kind of difficult and pricey and i read a few things here and there that said that now it's easier and maybe cheaper so i want to know more about that great and i think that the end of the agenda whoa that's what i call an efficient meeting super thanks very much Thank you, Mark. <laughs>